Nominate someone. If you're the only person on your team for this week, you will be the communication director, and then next week you can pass it off to someone else if you don't want it. Um, but yeah, so we just need one person to be in charge of checking the email account um, so, and so that we can reach out to you if we need to reach your team. And then that person can text, um, email everybody else, whatever is most convenient for you guys. Um, so yeah, actually go ahead and take like two minutes and just write, like change, exchange, e um, not emails, exchange phone numbers. If that's possible, can we do that? Yep. Yeah, so. We just did. Yeah, so I just want you guys to be able to contact each other, and then hopefully we will be able to contact you, and it'll all be great. Where is the sign in sheet for today? Okay. That's next on my list. So is this, it's gonna do this, but it looks like this up here. Mm -hmm. So even if I touch mm -hmm. the arrow buttons, okay. Right, well, once you touch the button, I think then it'll progress to the next, yeah. Okay, okay. Hopefully it'll be all right. Um, the only thing I changed in my binder was my email address. Okay, to remember. Yeah. yeah. All right, are we close to being good? Pretty much? The last order of business before I can um, really get started is just in your binders, uh, my email information is incorrect. It's dtown at grantcounty.com instead of intern. That's the only small thing. Um, Feel free to reach out to me, definitely email, phone, whatever. Um, I am on the front page at the bottom of that, yeah, yeah, with the glasses. I don't have my glasses today. I'm so, I, I looked really different from that picture. It was last semester. I'm, I don't know what happened. It's D-T-O-W-N-E at grantcounty.com. Yeah. So D-T-O-W-N-E at grantcounty.com. So again, feel free if you guys, especially as the pro uh, program progresses, if you guys have questions, reach out to the speakers, reach out to me, reach out to Charity, reach out to Tim. Uh, really, we want to answer questions, we want to help you guys, whatever we can do. Um, if there's confusion with teams, definitely reach out to us, don't hesitate. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and dive in. That was longer than I wanted it to be, I'm sorry. Um, so before you guys can really start building a business plan, you need to come up with your idea, right? So entrepreneurship, the foundation of entrepreneurship is thinking, creating, and collaborating. So that's where we're going to begin today. Um, is that going to go away? How many of you guys would consider yourself creative people? Really creative people. Am I the only one? Okay. So we got a couple. Yeah. That's okay. Creativity. Sometimes we get it a little bit mixed up in our head. Um, we think creativity has to be creating something brand new. Um, but really all creativity is, is thinking in a different way. And it can also be taking something old and turning it into something new. Um, I was hoping to show you guys a video, but there was a bit of tec technical difficulties. Um, have, has anyone heard of Pachelbel's Canon in D classical song played a lot? Anybody heard of it? You haven't heard of it, but you've probably heard the song if I were to, able to play it, which I can't. Um, you guys would recognize it immediately. Uh, the thing is about this song, that the chords that make up this song make up, I'm, this is a made up statistic, but 90% of music today. You can learn the chords of Pachelbel's Canon and play a ton of music from every single genre, from rock to pop to folk music. And the video I was going to show you kind of walks you through that and shows you all of these different songs that are made up of the exact same chords. And you can go from genre to genre from, to genre, and you're using the same foundation, but you're reaching new people, you're creating something new, and you're, 
entering into a new market and that's exactly what entrepreneurship is that's what creativity really is it's not always making something entirely new it's taking what's already there and making it useful for someone new um, bringing it into a new generation bringing it to a new market um, but one of the things about creativity is you can't really be an entrepreneur or a good entrepreneur if you can't add value so something could be creative you know someone could be creative by saying four plus four equals thirty five thousand six hundred seventy four is that useful to anyone if you tried to build some you know you're doing an engineering problem I'm not an engineer I don't know anything about that stuff but I mean engineers use math all the time for um, building bridges and things that are important for keeping people safe if they have incorrect information that's not useful that's not valuable so while that might be creative it's not adding value so when we're um, learning about entrepreneurship we have to remember to keep asking ourselves okay this is creative this is something new but is this going to add value to the people that I'm trying to reach if you're going back to the music analogy is this music people want to listen to is this something that is going to be useful to this market so keeping along with that um, creativity made into reality that's innovation when we are taking that creative mindset that um, entrepreneurs have and making it into something real, something tangible, a service, a good, that's innovation. And that's what the, the foundation of entrepreneurship. But what you need is it to be marketable, that value that you're adding to people. This needs to be something people are willing to pay for. They have to need your product so much that they're willing to give you money to solve the problem that they have. Um, Computers, you mentioned computers as something that was a big innovation for uh, that progressed history, right? Why do we need computers? What did, what did that add value to? How is that marketable? Okay, so it, it increased um, efficiency, made people faster. They could um, write a program to do one thing while they're off doing another thing. So it's making um, production more efficient. It, um, springboarded all this technology that we have today that's those are marketable things um, and that's really what you have to be thinking when you're starting this uh, when you're getting into this program and you're looking okay I need a, we need a business idea um, I have all these great things what am I looking for who am I trying to reach who is this going to be useful for is someone really going to be willing to pay for this so the big question is how do you guys innovate you guys might be sitting here and you're like, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? This program is way over my head. I'm not a business person. I don't even know. I can't even spell entrepreneurship. Everybody calm down, take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. That's why we're here. So we're gonna start really basic. How many of you guys are in a sport? Great. How many of you guys play an instrument? How many of you guys have siblings or um, lots of relatives just everywhere? Okay. How many of you guys participate in um, academic or just extracurricular activities in general? I forget what all there is. There's so many options. That's so many of you. Um, and other volunteering outside of school, either with church or charities or things. Great. Some of you guys have raised your hand a lot. Um, has anyone think of other things where you are interacting with people, other activities that you do or places you go? Your job. Your job, the grocery store, um, shopping, yeah, you go to malls, all of these different places. So in all of these scenarios, you guys are interacting with other people. This is where you are in life. These are the people you're interacting with. Um, this is where you start. So look around you when you're at your sports practice, when you're um, practicing your instrument with the band or whatever you guys are doing. Look around, look at the people you're with, see what are they passionate about. What problems do they have? What are they struggling with? What would make their life easier? What do they really like to do? What, where are they from? Just get, start thinking about the people that are around you. What is useful to them? Just start asking those questions. Passion. It comes back to passion. Entrepreneurs, it's all about passion. If you can integrate a business idea that solves a problem with something that people are passionate about, that's a really powerful idea when you can start crossing, intersecting those different worlds and bringing things together, that's where real entrepreneurship success happens. So this is what we call multidimensional thinking. Start taking those different spheres we were just talking about, sports, family, music, all of these different things that you're involved in. You guys have, especially in high school, tons of spheres of influence. 
start thinking about how you can cross those together. What solution might be in this sphere that um, could help solve a problem in this sphere? Does that, make, does that make any sense? So a lot of great entrepreneurship happens when they see, um, I'm thinking of an example, there was an architect who was trying to come up with a better idea for how to build bridges across water. And he looked at, the, he saw someone wearing a backpack and came up with the idea of a suspension bridge, which has no, um, a suspension bridge carries the weight from the top instead of having to have um, the poles that go down into the river. And he got that idea from a backpack, which carries the weight from the top. Do you see what I'm saying? Where you're taking ideas from something else and applying it to a new area. That's a really great way to spark ideas for entrepreneurship, um, to spark new business plans. Okay, so how do you enter this intersection? Where do you begin to really come up with the ideas? I'm talking about a lot of kind of abstract things, and it sounds great in theory, but how do you do it in real life? How do you guys apply it to where you're at? It all starts with people. People, 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 people are so important. You're surrounded by people all the time. And it's people that you're gonna wanna reach with your business idea. There's, you want people to support it. You want people to be willing to pay for your product. So listen to people, meet new people. If you guys have a, a really solid circle of friends, try meeting someone new once a day. Say hi to someone else. Ask them where they're from. Ask questions that get to know them. What are they passionate about? What problems do they have? I mean, you don't wanna phrase it, you know, what are you really struggling with today? That might be too deep for the first conversation. But when you start talking to someone, you can see what they're struggling with. You can kind of see what things that they're passionate about just from listening to a conversation. How many times do you talk to your friends and you hear someone say, oh man, I really, this really just drives me crazy. I hate when this happens. This, you know, blah, 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 blah. Complaining is a great segue for entrepreneurship. Find a problem that people have, find a solution. I don't know how often, I, a lot of my friends, that happens to me a lot. Maybe you guys have less complaining friends. Not that my friends are bad, but you get the idea. I mean, people will say it just in passing. And this is, that's the opportunity you have. You're totally fine. Nope, I understand. Uh, but those are the opportunities you have. Just listen for those things in passing. What are problems that people are facing? What things bug them? What things do they like? Start making lists of those and see once you kind of have this jumble of information, you can kind of start piecing things together. What solutions can come from this? Kind of confusing still, but we're still going. Key point number two, forget business as usual. Entrepreneurship is about creating new things. You're trying to create something that is going to serve a market that's not currently being served or serve it in a new way. So don't keep looking at the normal boundaries, what you do day to day. Start thinking about new things. Be contradictory, be different. It doesn't have to make sense right away, but just practice. Try thinking about things from a different perspective. Try putting yourself in someone else's shoes. Um, try thinking backwards from what your normal day to day and just do some kind of exercises where you start to stretch your thinking. It might be weird at first, but it'll start to help you learn things from a different way and see new opportunities for um, business and just um, for understanding people better. And then finally, quantity creates quality. So a lot of um, business ideas might not be great at first, but if you are writing down ideas all the time, you're gonna strike something that makes sense, something that's workable. Or you'll have so many bad ideas that you can piece them together and get a really, really great idea. Um, so start big. You wanna think bigger than what you can really do because that gives you room to grow. It gives you room to narrow down. You don't want to limit yourself right away. Write down every possibility. So say, okay, you guys live in Indiana. We want a tunnel system that connects every part of Indiana underneath, like underneath sidewalks so that we never have to walk in the cold. I don't know, how many of you guys like to walk outside in the cold from one place to another? That doesn't count. <laughs> I know when I'm here in January and I'm walking around and my face feels like it's gonna fall off because it's frozen and the skin is actually detaching from my bones, I want a sidewalk that goes underneath the ground. Okay, so that's a crazy idea. It might be hard to achieve, but things like that 
can start to lead to something more practical. Um, I'm, I don't know of a way to actually make that practical, but if you guys can come up with a way, that would be great because I would love it. Um, so talk to me about that because I'm not a big fan of the cold. Um, so these building, bo building blocks are really what lead to entrepreneurship. This is how we start. It's people. Let me go back. Let me just emphasize these again. These are things you probably want to write down. Key points are important. So it's people. Forgetting the business as usual. Thinking outside the box. Looking th at things from new perspectives. And quantity creates quality. As many ideas, the more ideas you have, the better chance you have of finding something that's really, really workable and something that you can really um, be passionate about and something that you can follow through with really well. So quantity creates quality. That one's really, really important. Final thought. This is going along with the thinking big. If someone gave you guys a billion dollars to change the world, what problem would you solve? Start thinking like that. Everything's unlimited. What problem would you solve? Does anyone have any ideas right off the bat? Should I? I would get like, all the dogs and cats out of the shelters and like, build a house for them and like, make them feel better. I would be that crazy dog and cat lady that just like, has all of them there. That's and awesome. They all get fed. Yes, I love that. That's, my roommate would jump on board immediately. <laughs> She'd be your partner. We should hook that up. Um, anybody else? Do you have anything off the top of your head for this question? No? Okay, so this is your homework. Just think about it. Start thinking bigger and then narrow it down. What problems do you see? What problems do you interact with on a day to day basis that could be solved? Or maybe can't be solved, but need to be addressed? Okay? That's, so that's your homework for the other day. Um, I will try and remember to ask you guys about that next time. And with that, thank you very much. Uh, make sure that, has everyone gotten a sign in sheet? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay. Awesome. Um, there's a few people missing, so has anyone not gotten this?